Hey, welcome to part two of looking back. You for sound like a TikToker. <clears throat> I sound welcome like a TikToker. Part two. <clears throat> well, maybe I push it, put this video on TikTok and become rich and famous. I think everyone just spurted out their juice while they're listening to that. Nobody wants to see me on TikTok. I don't think. No. All right, no, but maybe. They want you seeing their TikToks. Oh, I think that's probably worse. Actually, you know what? I think. I think Miss Winter should should do her uh, flossing on TikTok. Oh yes, that would be classic. Okay, back to math. Yes, that was all in the video. Mm -hmm. All right, so tickets cost. So we're back in the concert mode. The tickets cost twenty five dollars, thirty dollars, and forty dollars. Write an equation that shows how the promoter's income from the ticket sales I depends on the number of each type of ticket sold, and we're going to call the tickets the different types of tickets X, Y, and Z. So in other words, X is going to relate to the number of $25 tickets, Y is the number of $30 tickets, Z is the number of $40 tickets. All right, so we have I is equal to, well, we just said it, right? So we, the, the income for the cheap seats will be 25 times the number of cheap seat tickets you sell, plus 30 times the number of medium tickets you sell plus 45, 40 times the number of more expensive seats that you sell. And so that's our income. It's really that simple. Don't get too caught up on the fact that we now have four variables. Well, we have four different things going on. We have total income the number of cheap seats, the number of medium seats, and the number of expensive seats that, uh, that we're selling. All right, the promoter sells 5,000 tickets at $25, 3,000 at 30, and 950 at 40. What is the average, and that's important, the average income for each ticket? Now, average means we're gonna have to find the total possible income and then divide it by the number of seats that we sold, right? So, we're gonna go with 25, times uh, how many? 5,000. And so that is, I guess slide this over here, $12,500. <clears throat> and clear that. Um, then we have $30 times 3,000. That's 90,000. All right, and then finally we have the high rollers. Man, don't you wish that the expensive tickets to a concert only cost 40 bucks? That'd be great. Times 950, and that's 38,000. And then for the average, we need to get the sum of all of these different tickets levels. So we have 38,000 plus 90,000 plus 125,000, add them up. So we have a grand total of $253,000. But that's not our average. That's our total income. We want our average income. So how many tickets did we sell? Well, we sold 5,000 plus 3,000, that's 8,000. <clears> 8,000 plus 950 is 8,950. So I'm gonna divide this by 8,000 950 to get the average and so the average ticket price or our average income if we sell out the show is going to be $28 and I'm going to round that to 27 cents remember it should always be two bars in, in the uh, U, uh, US dollar sign. If you don't know why, I'll show you some other time. I know that's like two bars, but what's wrong with just doing it? Well, so, okay, so, so <clears throat> there's the U, and here's the S. I know. So it's a U on top of an S, and I people know. have just dropped this little lower bar, and voila, the dollar sign. I know. Uh, so, so 
Well, because normally U's have two vertical pieces, not one. I know it's easier and quicker to shoot. Well, I know that, well, people are lazy. All right, write an equation that shows how the average income for each ticket sold, V, depends on the variables. All right. Well, that kind of seems like a bear. All right, so for this one, it's really just a variation of our income equation. And the way it's worded, I, you know, I, I find it a little off-putting to you. But remember, we still have from problem one, problem one, don't, uh, where did it all go? Oh well, remember we had the variable t, right? So we just have what we did, 25x plus 30y plus 40z divided by t. I know what you're doing, yeah. And there we go. That's a lie for those of you who can't read it. All right, so I know you enjoyed this video so much that you are gonna click the third video too. All right.